Well, my oh my, is that Rotor? One of the best Hero Factory sets ever? Well, <laughs> you better believe it. In this video, I'm gonna highlight the wonderful pieces that come in this set and show off some of the different ways that you could use them in your own LEGO creations. And I'm gonna let you know why Rotor is great and how other Bionicle builders have revamped and reimagined him. I'm ready if you are, let's go. Hot dang, I love this set. Man has a spinning helicopter blade on his back. It flips up, it flips down. That way he can either use it to fly or he can use it as a weapon to beat up heroes with. That's freaking sick. It's always a pleasure to see such creative and new ideas. And man, it was stuff like this that made the first wave of Hero Factory sets so refreshing and so exciting. I'd love to pretend that this was the first ever construction set to have a cool helicopter weapon concept. But no, there is another. A set that's so impressive, so well made, so frickin' cool, that you're gonna be upset that it's not in your collection. It's set 6162, good guy. Yeah, he's some derpy little dude who doesn't even have hands. Why didn't they put fists on his arms? I guess this is the first Bionicle set to not have hands. There you go. But yeah, look, they do have blades up top, but it's nowhere near as impressive and as cool as Rotor's blades are. Those blades got spikes all over them. These are the same blades that came on the set Brutaka. Everyone's favorite, Brutaka. But then you get these blades in black instead of silver. Woohoo, that's good. Who cares if Rotor wasn't the first to have helicopter weapons on his back? He does it best. Speaking of weapons, Rotor does have some interesting weapons. A Zamosphere launcher on one side and this jet booster thing. On some of the official art, it showcases that this is some type of like gas weapon. Yeah, that's pretty cool. His hands do kind of stick out at an odd angle depending on how you pose him, which isn't the best. But really with how good the rest of him looks, I don't care. This is not a big issue whatsoever. This dude is a towering, imposing menace with a pretty well armored and lovely looking leg design. He also poses very well. He's got a cool looking mask. What's not to love? Oh yeah, and this mask also comes in blue on the set Vapor. I love that these dudes could totally be like brothers or cousins or something like that. Anyway, let's see what pieces come in this set and how they can be used to build our own awesome Bionicle creations. Rotor includes this nice silver jetpack piece. Instead of using it for a weapon like we see on the actual set, or as a jetpack as it was originally intended to be used as, you could use it like Dapper Scrapper has done here. See how the torso design embeds three of these pieces into it. I like that these still look like they could be jetpacks, but they also look really good just as armor on the torso. Man, this part looks good no matter the context that you use it in. We've also got some nice orange shin armor pieces. BioRays uses these on this mock. We can see them up top here on the torso. Using them to round off the edges of the torso, brilliant idea. Some nice thinking. Another way that you could use this piece is on a torso design, much like Matt Goldberg has done on this mock. So take a look at the very center of the torso here. This piece is resting right there in the middle. And then Matt appears to be placing some Technic beams through the holes in the edges of this part. And then branching off of those beams is more armor that then leads into the wings. That's so clever and it looks so good as well. And then Logan W uses this piece down below on this leg design. The U shape of this piece, it very neatly cups the upper leg and armors it up in a really aesthetically pleasing way. Look at that, three completely different uses for this part, but all of them look so good. Truly a very versatile and easy to use Lego piece. Rotor's mask of course could be used as a mask or as shoulder armor. Matt Goldberg uses the blue variant of this mask right here for some shoulder pads. And don't they look awesome? I think these work really well as some heavy duty, very protective armor. The back of Rotor includes some of these small orange boosters. When you lift up or lift down the blade, the boosters get exposed or they're tucked away on the back. But yeah, if you wanna use this part, one way you could do so is like Max Howell has done on this mock that's called Blood Clot. Cast your eyes down here to the lower arm. They use this piece, but in silver. Still, it's a good look. It's a very simple, but quite effective lower arm design. Rotor's spinning blades are of course such a cool weapon, but I mean, this was once a weapon piece, why not use it as a weapon? Much like Lux Constructs has done here. Blades or helicopter rotors, either way, is gonna look pretty cool. Additionally, you got three of these pieces on this set. You can apply stickers onto them like you see here, or you can just leave them blank. And Kane's eye marks, he leaves them blank and uses them for shoulder armor. I think these pair quite nicely with these larger hands. They're using some of these Star Wars Ultra Build torsos here. I like the repeated use of multiple large black pieces. They kind of have a bit of a similar shape to them. 
Repeating that shape over and over again, it adds a nice level of consistency and unity to this design. And then finally, Rotor comes with two black Skrull armor pieces. I do love how the set places these on the upper leg design. You could easily do something similar. It kinda always looks good. But if not, do what Escanor the Builder 1 has done. The three spikes that kinda come out of the edge of this part. They cover up the elbow quite nicely. But also the gaps between these spikes. They allow for a lot more lower arm movement. Isn't that great? They cover things up, but they also leave room for posability. That's a win-win situation. So there you go, guys. That's how you can use the parts that come in this set. But what if you want to revamp Rotor and you're looking for a few ideas for how you could do so? Well, I got you covered. Here's three revamps of Rotor. Awesomeness Born tackles the first version of Rotor, and I do like this different take on the mask. Combining Pahatu Fantoka's mask with an orange Pakari, the same one that came on the set, Boxor. How cool is that? There you go, if you don't have Rotor, you don't own his mask, you could kind of just make your own version using different pieces, and you're ready to go. The updated blaster looks wonderful. Things like the blue tubing, the much larger barrels, and the translucent dishes on the end, that looks so sick. The posable fingers on the other side, those also look pretty cool. And these wires that are like tucked into the upper arms, that's such a good choice. You know, I really love things like the antennas on the head, the tubing, the wires, the additional support beams at the base of the helicopter rotors. There's such a great sense of realism to this creation. Even like the yellow sticker on the blaster. Tiny little details like this, they do so, so much. Master Rika has another Rotor revamp, and this one has a huge hand. Look at that, we've had two revamps in a row that have both given him a hand. I mean, the original set didn't have any at all. It would have been hard for him to, I don't know, pick up stuff or hold a sandwich while he eats it. So I guess it's a wise choice to add that in. But they didn't get rid of the blaster, they just moved that up to the shoulder and they changed it out from a Zamosphere launcher to a stud shooter. This revamp does have some smaller blades, but it appears they now have three blades instead of two. The other one is there, it's just tucked behind the back of the mock. But yeah, this is a fun revamp. And finally, Lewis Hammond has his own take on this character. More hands! and also more custom head designs. But both do look really good, so I get it. Especially the orange face. Using that orange Huna that came on Turaga Vakama, what a lovely idea. You just flip it over and you use the gap at the top of the head to place a mono eye. Isn't that a delightful head design? It's actually almost slightly adorable as well. This new blaster arm is also pretty cool. I love how these silver booster pieces are just angled ever so slightly. Oh, and this new helicopter blade up top is sick. It's using some of the weapon pieces that came on Gelu. Yeah, the introduction of trans blue here on the blades and the eye, that's such a nice new choice. Lovely stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed this deep dive look into Rotor, as well as all his different pieces and some revamps of the character too. If you liked the mocks you saw in today's video, be sure to take a look at the links in the description below. You can check out more of their work there. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching guys, happy building, and bye for now.